Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, all you very prompt people, it was probably like a minute ago, but I think we might as well just start. Uh, so this is Harmony Forums and Communities with Drupal. Okay, who am I? Uh, I'm Ali, hey, look alive on most things. And I've been working with Drupal for probably about, I don't know, six-ish years now. Um, kind of a weird mix of roles and development, front end, kind of a bit of everything, really. So this kind of project really kind of uh, it does it for me, I guess, because I get to play about with everything and have a good time with that. Uh, enjoy all like the easy stuff and then kind of run away from the hard stuff. Uh, and if you're really, really interested, you can find me on LinkedIn, uh, but I wouldn't really bother with that. Uh, that was an interesting transition. That is the only one that is in there. I'm told that my slides are pretty boring, so that was for that friend. Um, but that's pretty much it. I can't like black and white, and it's simple and it works. So, landscape of forums. Um, this talk, I'm basically going to go through uh, why I considered even doing this, um, how I went about it, and the, the result. Um, so, obvious place to start is the current landscape, which is pretty much one of two things. You can either go with um, core forum, uh, and if you really feel like it, you can sort of amp it up a bit it with uh, advanced forum, or you can go with third party um, integration, which will be stuff like vBulletin, PHPBB, and so on, and all the like. And of the choices, they're not really great ones. Um, so, Core Forum is architecturally pretty simple and not too far away from how it started out in Drupal 4.6, I believe, where you've got a content type and then you've got comments against that. and you get this kind of disjointed experience because of it, where if you wanted to theme um, a discussion, then it's going to be, I theme the node, and now I theme the comments separately. Uh, theme the comments separately. Um, and really the main problem with it is the architecture, because it's always going to go back to that issue that it's just a node, and you've got comments on it. So if you want to have a really sort of performant experience, then it doesn't kind of lend itself to that. And if you look at any design um, like database design for um, forums, they don't do this. So really it's just kind of like, a, to me, a kick out the door, this will do, and you know, that's kind of how it's stayed. Um, third party integrations, there are quite a few options. Um, and when you look at them, they've pretty much, again, stayed the same for many years. Uh, forums as a, a concept have changed a bit. Um, they're still around and still very well used and people do get a lot from them. But things have shifted around a bit in, in how people interact. But um, you can see this through the fact that these projects are of some age. Um, that said though, they, they still exist, people do, do still use them. And it shows that people do want to use Drupal to have communities. Um, but the downsides, they're complex in that you have to install some piece of software and understand it. You've got to track it uh, in terms of security updates, much as you would with Drupal to keep it secure. Um, it requires more knowledge. It, it's not Drupal, um, for one thing. So you just kind of fight against it a bit. Um, on the Drupal side, you've got to make sure that the Drupal project uh, that integrates with this third-party piece of software is up to date, um, works how you expect it to, uh, yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of stuff basically, and having done a few of them, uh, yeah, I've lost some life out of it. Uh, yep, yeah, separate admin areas, so that, that's not a good thing either. It's not really as great as experience, and you really suffer because of it. Um, yep, yeah, more things. Varnish, you ever tried to put Varnish um, in front of the bulletin? It doesn't really go well. It, again, will make you cry. Uh, don't try and do it. Um, yeah, it's just not funny or enjoyable, don't, just don't do it. So Harmony. Um, Harmony is meant to address these problems. Uh, Harmony is uh, a Drupal-based um, forum solution, um, very much born out of frustration. Um, started a couple of years ago, started out with a prototype uh, with ECK, and that kind of validated that, OK, I can plug these, these things together. It does make sense. Um, that's the kind of feature list. So when you look at this, uh, the aim is to create basically what you'd need as a developer. Um, so from that point of view, you've got integrations with all the things that you want. Um, 
for example, with core forum, you can't change the uh, location slash forum easily. You'd have to uh, hook menu alter to do that. Whereas, because we use views for all our listings, uh, you could just override that and then change the path. So, um, everything that it would make sense to have available to you, you can do, you can use. Um, so you've got views for listings, path also for um, sensible thread paths, uh, because these are separate entities. You've got the thread entity and you've got the post entity. Um, what else we got? Yeah, all the kind of things that you'd expect. So uh, my favorite probably being Travis CI. Uh, so we've integrated with that recently. So uh, that'll run our BHAT test when we commit to um, Jupyter or Gang GitHub. The idea with Harmony is that it's an ecosystem that provides everything you need, but at the very core of it, um, you have Harmony Core. And all you should need is that, and we're not going to give you anything extra uh, on top of that, because a lot of the problems that you can get, say with um, like Drupal Commons, for example, will be that you spend a lot of time kind of stripping that back, and again, you're fighting something. So with Harmony, it's a kind of built with an approach that do um, probably, I wouldn't say the minimum, but do the sensible amount without kind of overstepping the mark. And then we've got other modules out there to provide extras, uh, such as moderation and other bits and bobs. Um, so in terms of components, it, it's that kind of family of things that you'd expect. You've got uh, distribution at the moment, just the one, but we plan to have more. Uh, just to kind of prove the concept that you could have Stack Overflow with uh, Drupal if you wanted to, uh, and then some more community-focused things. Um, you've also got modules. Um, there are a lot of them. There's going to be a lot more. And then also themes to support that. Uh, so it aims to be like kind of a full package or product, and the real vision for it is that even as like an open source project, that when you think of forums, you kind of stack it up against PHPVB or the bulletin or discourse or any of these things, and it's a, a decent kind of collection or product in its own right, um, regardless of the fact it's Drupal. And just like the fact it is Drupal is, you know, just like an extra thing that's an amazing bonus. Um, so let's run through the, the modules very quickly. So we've got uh, a various, um, quite a few different things which address different needs. Um, we'll go through like the interesting ones um, bit by bit. Uh, but as you can see, you know there, there are modules which address the needs that you'd expect to have um, as a result of, I want to build a community and I want to enable people to uh, communicate in ways that make sense whilst also administering it and then tackling spam and all those different um, requirements and chances are you're going to have. Um, one thing that I do like to show is the .info file for, um, for Harmony, I don't know if you can see that or not, the point is that there's an incredible amount of dependencies. And this kind of uh, ties in with proudly built elsewhere in that I'm going to let these other projects do things. And I think that's kind of a sensible approach in that I'm not going to try and make listings. Listings can be views or um, inline NC form works well for embedding the post form inside the thread form, which is how it works. Um, so that's one of those key sort of approaches. Leverage all the other things out there which we can. Um, but right now, let's have a look at the front end demo. So this is a HTML mock-up of um, what I want Harmony to look like. So this will be like the uh, distribution. <coughs> so this is um, Bootstrap 3, uh, responsive, all those good things. It was a break uh, from doing like hard dev stuff. So one of the reasons why I really love this project is that I get to do all these different things in terms of I get to do some front end stuff, some dev stuff, some branding, design, badly. Um, and the front end was uh, kind of um, sort of like a short break from doing the sort of core development. So what this has done is kind of set out that high level of I'm going to make this product, I know exactly what I want to do with it, what it should look like, and how it should behave. and that's informed things like uh, I know that when I want to um, build out views listings that I need to have a way to have a responsive table. And whilst we do have these things kind of done in Drupal in some form or another, there's you know a number of ways to do it. So um, we've got in Harmony Core a separate views plugin 
um, style for harmony responsive table, which kind of executes this vision. Um, and much in the same way, um, we'll see that the thread page, the posts themselves, they should be largely represented easily by Harmony Core by itself. So when you install it, it will roughly look like this or give you the means to kind of build this. Um, and in terms of setting goals for uh, a product, very much kind of make something that looks really nice or decent and don't worry about too much the fact that it's Drupal. And you, even if you can tell that it is Drupal, then something's gone a bit wrong. Uh, because you should be able to just sort of look at it and go, okay, this is Harmony as opposed to, oh, this is uh, Drupal because I can recognize the tab style or you know, those kinds of things. Right. Uh, so, Harmony Core. Let's have a look at uh, Harmony Core. Uh, can everyone see this okay? Yeah, so the answer is yes, cool. Uh, right, so as I said, we provide a views listing at slash forum, though this is something that you can override because it's a view. Um, it should more or less look like um, the front end mock-up. So if we have a look at the listing style itself, then it's probably not too far away in that you've got a number of likes, views, uh, avatar, so on. Um, and it's also responsive, so I won't try and do that right now because this theme is not responsive. Um, <laughs> It works, believe me. So, currently is user one, so you see the kitchen sink of all these tips. But um, I can go and create a thread, as you expect to. Uh, have the regular kind of um, options that, as a Drupal user, you'd expect to have. So, this is a thread entity with a post entity form embedded in it. Um, so, in effect, you're creating two things, which gets a bit conceptually funny sometimes when you're trying to work out what saves first and so on, but inline uh, entity form does a good job of kind of working that out. Um, what I would draw attention to is the fact that we do have these kind of forum-based options which meshes the concept of you've got nodes, they're published, and threads also have that because you know it, you would have that in other forum software, but um, we take on that sort of terminology just because it is Drupal, and again, it's what you'd expect from a Drupal module. So let's create that. And then we've got a thread. And you've got all different um, kind of options. This looks roughly like what we want it to. So you've got um, thread operations. Um, if I reply, uh, it will show as a direct reply to this post. So you see in reply to, and I'll jump you up. We now have one reply. Um, so again, looks like this. And when you click on one reply, it loads in that reply. So you can see all the direct replies to um, that post. All this stuff is backed by NC references and views and um, core Ajax um, type stuff, which has nice benefits in that if I like this thread here, it will update it here. So anywhere that we can rely on someone else doing something for us, we do it and we get that benefit. Um, and then there are other nice things, um, such as, this doesn't work. Uh, number of projects have kind of sprung out of, again, I want to make a really good product and I want to, or just having that kind of approach. I mean, it's open source software, it's um, separate modules as you'd expect it to be, but there have been bona fide projects which have kind of sprung out of trying to build this thing. And we'll touch on this a bit more later, but you've got things like at JS where you can inline at mention people uh, in a post and then uh, it will be a linked um, kind of tokenized thing which will appear inside the content which you can do whatever you want. So in this case it's just a, uh, a link to that user's profile. Um, let's have a quick look at the entities. So Harmony, when you install it, you get um, this little Harmony menu which kind of collects everything together so you can view all the threads. Um, You've also got the amount of reporting stuff in here, but posts, uh, you can modify the threads. Uh, you know, again, so it's all kind of stuff you expect to have. So, NC reference fields, um, quite a lot of them, really. Uh, you've got bundles as well. So, you'll have different types of threads. So you have um, the standard type, um, poll thread, announcement thread, 
um, Q and A, that kind of stuff, and you can, you know, really just sort of do what you want with it. Uh, post is like more uh, basic, and you just got one post type. There's no bundles, but again, you've got NC references. You've got all the kind of things that you can achieve what you want to with this, and you've got a really sort of strong basis to build what you want from it. Um, yeah, I think I'll do it for Harmony Core. So distro, uh, there is uh, a Harmony distro, which again is kind of a monster, really, just because of that dependencies list. So I'm not too sure how long this is going to take, and if it works, then great. If not, then yeah. Um, and this is kind of gluing everything together. So this is very much a work in progress, and it's mostly like different Harmony modules plugged together with um, a few other choice ones for security and. Um, Again, it just gives you sort of like an easy way to jump in and understand what this thing is. So I encourage anyone to um, give this a go if they if they feel like it or they want to know more about this or just kind of pull it apart and see how um, how it could work out for building a community site for yourself or a client or you know someone. Um, it's going to take forever. I give up. Uh, right. So. Let's um, talk a bit about the separate Drupal modules that exist. Uh, the first one that really was a requirement is that sort of I've got a forum, I've got different categories which people can post in. I want to have a, a moderator only one. So from that came Harmony Access and Harmony Forum um, Access. Um, again, looking at things like core, you see things such as the node access layer. Which is you kind of look at it and it's like, yeah, okay. And then you start to get into it, and it's like, okay, this is really mental. And it's like, wow, these people are really smart. I'm just going to copy what they did. So I pretty much just copied what they did with a few tweaks. Um, one of the pain points about creating your own entities is that you have to pretty much create your own entity. And there are tools out there to help you with it, but you're kind of there um, much on your own. You've got a lot of work to do. Some things are, are nice, views, for example, which does provide an amount of integration, but when it comes to things like um, I want to have a view edit delete link in my view listing, that will not be provided for you. You have to do that kind of stuff yourself. So with all of this, with, uh, within as many places, there's kind of this kitchen sink approach to integrating with things. Um, so with Devel, you, you've got integration with Devel, but you've also got De Devel generate integration where you can just kind of spawn a lot of content um, to play about with. Um, so let's have a actual look at what it looks like. Again, um, all this has been done with kind of an intelligent approach to what would I want as a developer or what would I want as a site builder in. I install this thing, I just want it to work. I want it to have sensible defaults. Um, with this, as a developer, I'd like to have the ability to enable or disable access control against multiple different categories and then only have that in place if I want it for that category. Um, and if I'm going to have all these permissions, and they are, you know, standard permissions, then let's have them with um, taxonomy term machine names as opposed to taxonomy term IDs. Because when you move between environments, that's not really going to work out for you. So a lot of it is just try and make it work, try and make it as painless as possible. Um, harmony moderation. So this was a good one through real world requirements where we've done quite a few things which allow people to, or active members of the community, to really be a part of preventing spam or flagging up inappropriate content. Um, in that there are features like uh, if, I don't know, five, ten people, however many people report one post, you can automatically unpublish it and put it into the moderation queue. Um, and flood control against someone's going around reporting tons and tons of posts. You can limit that kind of stuff. All the kind of things you want in place uh, learning lessons from other places in Drupal core, Drupal community, and so on. Um, yep, so as you can see, reports post, then nice C uh, tools modal appears, and you can provide, um, this is using flag as well, provide the reason for why you're reporting it, um, go through, write things, and then you've got an admin listing, which is a place to, to moderate that kind of stuff. So it's all kind of glued together quite nicely, and Again, it goes back to that ecosystem and in providing something which plugs in together in all the right places. Um, profanity, so this is a fun one. Um, prof 
fantasy can be a problem in communities. There are, are a few other modules which can do this kind of thing for you, but they weren't really that modern. So stuff like, um, I think it's bad words, and, and there's another one which escapes my mind, but they were missing things such as features integration. So I want to have multiple word lists and be able to export them and move my configuration around from different environments. Um, that was one requirement, and it just sort of made sense to create a separate project. And it means you can also go out and try and do all these, tackle these um, different problems, such as I've got a views listing. I want to have a profanity filtered title in that listing. How do I do that with views? And it's like, good Lord, I have to provide a separate field, which means I've now got to go through in NC info alter. And, and then it's like, okay, now I need to provide tokens because I don't want that in my URLs. And so really gone to the nth degree on, on this one. And again, it just sort of, that's the approach that's kind of happened with this. Um, really take it as far as possible uh, without killing yourself. Um, at JSO, we saw that in action a moment ago, but um, this implements a library, JavaScript library, and we saw that you can um, at mention people. But what this really is, is the ability to have a trigger character, trigger phrase, which then references, uh, starts up a search against a list of entities and provides that back as um, like an autocomplete within a text area. And when you go to output that in um, filter text, theme it. So make it link to user profile, make it link to a taxonomy term. So for example, if you wanted to, you could have a, uh, a hash or um, something as a trigger for, I want to search taxonomy terms, and then also complete based off of that. And then you can now tag content automatically um, just by sort of doing hashtag whatever. Um, so there's quite a lot of potential for this one. Um, and the other thing that's quite good about it is that it's also got this awareness of what is an existing mention and what's a new mention. So if I at mention someone, um, then someone goes through and edits that post, which can potentially happen. Um, if I leave it alone, then no new notifications will be sent as a result of it. But if I choose to add in another mention, then you know that there's another mention in there because um, that kind of stuff does happen. So again, nth degree, really sort of think about everything as much as possible and seeing the potential for what could happen after this project because again, this is a standalone project and if you want to have notifications as a result of a mention, a, a taxonomy tag or that kind of stuff, then you've got the ability to do that. Um, yeah. Okay, event data store. So with event data store, the initial requirement was um, that we need to make charts. And having a look at what's available in Drupal, there's, there's quite a lot of stuff around charting, but not, I want to have a, a data storage back end. Um, so again, this one kind of came out of requirements and it's got a lot a larger kind of potential for what you can do with it. In that with this module, you can create your own watchdog. Um, so just like a, a store of events that have happened and then create listings of it because we've integrated with views, um, filter against the date, um, so you've got pop-up calendar, again, integrated with views. Uh, and you can create multiple different storage um, items for these different events. Uh, so it means that you can track things such as, I want to track number of user logins, I want to track registrations, threads created, posts created, edited, deleted, all those kind of things. Um, and then produce a chart. Uh, can't get that image bigger, but then produce a chart which has all this data together and do it easily. Because the other stuff, um, the other issue with this is that I want to create a chart easily. How do I do that? I need to start using aggregation. This module will aggregate your data for you so you can easily go in and um, say, I want only the yearly data, or I want the monthly, weekly, daily, hourly data. So this is a really good module in that it makes things quite simple and easy in terms of I want to produce a chart, I want to um, create a listing of stuff that's happened. And it kind of hits on uh, event sourcing, which is a concept in that um, I'm going to log and track and have a storage for every different kind of um, event that happens. And as a result of this, it means that I can rebuild the state of an application. So, I mean, have a read of this blog post here because it's really 
quite interesting stuff. Um, but with this module, it's the kind of thing you can do. So I want to um, rebuild the state of the application in terms of um, posts created. So I can sort of, if I wanted to, in, in, in a live sense, see all the posts that uh, occur and have links uh, through the database to the actual entities that exist and kind of re recreate the sort of play-by-play -play of all the uh, different events that happen. Um, that's the default avatar. Okay, another module which has come out of um, real world requirements. And this was surprisingly hard, uh, purely because of image magic support. And it's not really, you can't rely on that being there. So we see this kind of happen quite a lot in that you've got a default avatar now. So uh, in, I know, Google Inbox, on, um, I'm trying to think of other examples now. Uh, I remember Discourse would be another one. Um, GitHub probably does have something. Uh, in any case, uh, it's quite simple. Give me a, a default avatar based off the user's username. Um, with this, you would, you kind of bring in the concept of I have a default avatar, which means we had to do stuff like also the user scheme, which was kind of a surprise, but um, it says don't use the data property, so we didn't. Um, and then provide an amount of ability to have this kind of stuff live in the CDN. Um, so we generate real images, which can be derived. Uh, you can provide um, separate fonts. So this is um, Helvetica, I believe, and um, change the color set. So it's all quite random, and um, you can choose different colors. Uh, but again, it's kind of like another solid approach to providing something which is kind of expected now in terms of community because you don't want to have just like a simple default avatar. It's just a bit more interesting. And Google recently, Google being the other example of default avatars, um, if you really wanted to, you could have separate um, images. So they're now doing animals. So if you look on Google Docs, you'll see um, anonymous anaconda, you know, so on, going through the alphabet. You could just have um, images for animals, whatever you like, really. Um, Right, so what stuff's coming up with Harmony? Um, a lot. There's a lot of effort that's going to go into this project because um, over the past year or so, that it's been kind of like gradual progression. Um, whereas we're looking to kind of kick things into overdrive in terms of providing all the different things that you want for a strong community. Um, part of that is giving people the the ability to move away from things like Core Forum, Advanced Forum, um, PHPBB, all those places where we, we want people to uh, come to us and sort of leverage Drupal as a, a platform. Um, one of the things that happened recently is, as I was reviewing things for this talk is that uh, I remember that Acquia did a community site for Twitter, so dev.twitter or wherever it might, might be now, um, that did use Core Forum which is kind of surprising because when you look at it, it's like, that's the best that we've got to offer. And again, that's really why I've done this project. And looking at recently, Twitter now use Discourse instead of Drupal. So they've binned um, the core forum thing for Discourse, which is not great. Um, again, so this is about giving people more choice and really enabling people to use Drupal to create communities. Um, one of the main things that I, I see coming up as a requirement is that we don't have just, say, good enough messaging with the message module or private message or whichever you, thing you choose to use. Uh, it's that I want to have Slack or, I don't know, Facebook grade messaging in my community. So there's a lot of sort of interesting see, uh, stuff that we see out on the horizon and um, are looking to do. But right now, I kind of realize that communities is very sort of niche in a way with Drupal, and that, that's a problem. Um, and probably the, the Twitter example is the best one I can give and that people aren't seeing it as a viable platform, um, which is something we're looking to change. And this leads me into who's using it. So Cancer Research in the UK is um, a massive charity uh, that do a lot of good work. Um, and they wanted to rebuild their community, going away from Jive into Drupal because that's their platform of choice. Um, Harmony was seen as pretty much the only game in town, I suppose. Uh, if they didn't want to use Core Forum or if they didn't want to do a third-party integration, which really don't do that, it's horrible. 
um, and they're committed to open source software. So I worked with them to create the new community, which uh, launched in November, uh, migrated a lot of content, uh, and it's really been quite a good experience. It, it's given this project kind of a legitimacy that it really needed to progress. Um, and in a really good way, but also a really painful way for myself, the kind of resources that it needed to um, become a lot more serious in that there's a dedicated tester on the project making me cry and finding so many bugs. Um, but all this good stuff went back into um, the project on Drupal.org. So they've really, really given a lot to the open source community for uh, from from that project. And the amount of those modules which you saw previously, that, that's from that work. And the real world requirements cannot be sort of um, underestimated in, in that it's kind of stuff that none of us would ever think of depending on you know, what kind of role you fulfill. If you're a site builder, if you're a developer, it's like, wow, I'd not have thought that, that people would want to do that. But we found those things and Harmony as an ecosystem is much, much better for it. So I'm massively grateful to Cancer Research for that. And it's, aside from that, never, I would say have a look at the site if you really want to, but never actually read anything on there because it can be incredibly sad. Uh, <laughs> So don't don't read it, but you know appreciate it and be happy that you know they've sort of believed in this open source vision, um, which you know I'm, I'm very privileged to be a part of. Yeah, who else? Um, right. Well, as I was saying about as a Drupal as a platform, it, it's got so many incredible kind of solutions and modules available, such as commerce for I, I'm, I want to create a shop. Then it's its own sort of like standalone thing, which makes a lot of sense. Um, you can solve a lot of problems with Drupal, but communities isn't really one of them that you can do easily or do well. So that's exactly why I do these kind of things, why I do talks, um, cons, camps, whatever. Um, that's the kind of stuff I want to be doing to raise awareness that you can create communities with Drupal. They can be really good. Um, and with that, not that many people are using it, which makes me sad because I've poured a lot of effort into this and a lot of uh, time. Um, it's I, each time I do these talks, I meet more people who say, this is really great, this is what I need, I'm going to go build it. Um, but when you take on a community as a part of a build, it's never a, a light thing. It's not just, oh, I'm going to throw in the, the community. Um, it's far more of a consideration, and it can be its own site as well, as in like uh, Cancer Chat, that was its own thing. That's this whole other project. And with that, I expect to see a lot more spring up. I know there are launches which are coming up um, within the next, say, week, and then there's another in a couple of months, and then there's more on the horizon. Um, and I expect to see more and more of them, and there are quite a few Harmony sites out there. Uh, Cancer Chat's the one that I really want to talk about and sort of like point to. Um, but the reason for doing this is improving sort of landscape and improving options, and uh, it's one of those things about doing open source software and that you can share this kind of stuff and make things better. And so who else? We'll see. Um, I hope to fill out a few more slides by the next one. But um, yeah, for now, I'd say if you are aware of requirements for a client or someone asks about, I want to make community stuff, you should say, how about Harmony? I'd be very grateful. Uh, encourage that if you can. Uh, there's a D.O. group which isn't so well traveled. Uh, that's kind of the state of Drupal groups sometimes. <laughs> um, but if you want to get involved, then by all means, come say hello, come say I think you suck. Mm -hmm. You wasted all your time, and then you make me cry. Uh, but there could be opportunity in that I can make it better. Who knows? Um, yep, and if you want to try the distribution out, then um, simply test me is a great way to do that. Um, Come to think of it, I wonder if that ever got there. Yeah, it did. Let's do that now. Um, aside from that, I'm pretty much done. If uh, anyone does want to get in touch, then yeah, you can email me. Tweet, do what you want. Uh, if you want to keep up to date on the project itself, there's a recently relaunched getharmony.io, which has a few things on there, one of which being a newsletter sign up. So you can do that, and there's 150 people somehow on that list. I've sent probably two emails over the past year. Um, that's pretty about it. I'm going to click through this, and 
Feel any questions if there are any? If not, then I'll go there. I can. Yeah. But most of the time they, they think, oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to have this. And it's like, no traffic, and then nobody goes up there. And so unless there's an email like, oh, I have a thread, I'm getting an email saying somebody responded to my thread, so I don't get back up there. And they want to reply. Over yeah, they want to be able to reply to the thread or whatever. Yeah. So for us, that would be like key is to having notifications built into that. Sometimes that's why we just fall off the organic group and just have people that way. Yeah, okay. Uh, you said a few things there, so remember all of them. Um, <laughs> Notifications. <laughs> Some way to drive traffic as to where you, you know, you got to be able to drive yep. the traffic to make it or people sure. find you up there. So, notification is probably the first one. Uh, I talk about this kind of vision for everything that Harmony is going to be and do and all that good stuff. And communication is probably the, the key point in that. And there is a module planned um, called Comstack, which is aiming to be that kind of solution in providing m modern, intelligent means to create notifications, private messaging, live chat, all these different things. So when I talk about Slack grade, Facebook grade, uh, even creating like an email client, that's what I'd hope that you'd be able to do with this module. Um, and that's a very, very quick kind of statement on something incredibly complex. So it's on the horizon. And, um, I hope to get uh, smarter people than me involved in building this thing. Um, it's on the list, definitely. And you're right in that when you think about forums, discussion forums now, they have kind of changed. And they've sort of, I don't know, 10 years ago, they, they were very different. And it's the kind of place that you would sort of go to um, to discuss things. And you'd be very involved. But now things are a bit more detached. And when you look at new social media, it's kind of this more abstract way to interact with people. And getting people back into that community is absolutely vital to ensuring that it stays active and people are engaged and um, so they are kept up to date with what's happening. So when you, uh, part of this is uh, notifications. So, you know, this vision of what I want to build has notifications, it has private messaging. And when you think about, or when you consider what's happening on, say, Twitter, where you at mention people, that's exactly where you... Uh, want someone to at mention you on Harmony with at JS and be aware that it's a new mention, in which case send a notification about that. Um, so it's all kind of connected together for me and I, I've got a very clear vision of what I want to build. Um, that's top of the list basically for, I mean, that's its own project entirely. That's, that's not necessarily Harmony, but it's something that Harmony would use. Um, to the cover all, all the questions? Statement. Kind of asking about, you know, why people don't all use it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and that is one of the reasons. And that's how things can sort of die and slow down a bit. What that guy said.
integrates with the, the existing stack. So it is a forum, but like when you put the other the cool Drupal stuff in it. Yeah. Um, Harmony is integrated with rules in many ways. Um, you can do exactly what you said. And that, that's the, the point in integrating kitchen sink style with uh, all the things. And yeah, it, it's been a, a sort of request in the, I, I have comments on my blog, but how about instead of using comment module, I want to use Harmony. And you could do that. You can glue that stuff together. There's probably going to be a dedicated module to provide that uh, in some way. And it could either be you know default rules or um, something a bit more um, involved because there, there is a lot of unseen things in doing something like that. But, you know, in a very sort of simple way, you could use rules to do that, absolutely. Uh, and then you get all the, the benefits of inline at replying. Um, and one, again, one of the strengths is that you can sort of leverage all this community content that will exist because it's not only now about comments, it's about how many times I've been mentioned or in what content I've been mentioned. And with having NC reference used like a million times in each in the Harmony thread or Harmony post entities, you can do that and you can sort of drag everything out. Um, the hope is that you have everything you need to achieve what you want. Um, and if that doesn't exist, then there's always the issue queue and you can request things. Uh, any other questions? No? Okay, well, I think we're kind of about right on time. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Have a good rest of the conference. <laughs>